First, let's talk about the meta and gameplay, then the content and updates, and finally, the community. So the meta is super balanced compared to a lot of other games. All the agents in the game are playable, and you can master anyone that fits your playstyle to climb the ranks. Riot Games could give a buff to an agent and it would go from bad to one of the best. That's how balanced they are. The game is a year old and so far, there are 15 agents, all with different abilities. They all feel really balanced, even though they have different playstyles. The guns in the game are also really balanced, except for one or two trash guns, which are the Shorty, the Guardian, or even the Marshal. And even those are a viable option in certain scenarios. A recent update made guns more balanced by making the price increments by 50. Riot is taking so much of the community into consideration, and they really pay attention to the most important part of the game. It's gameplay. A month ago, the abilities were really powerful compared to the guns, and they only cost 100 to 400 credits. To put that into perspective, a Phantom or a Vandal is 2900 credits. I'm glad that they made the gunplay the main focus because it's the reason why so many players switch from CSGO. Next, let's talk about the updates. I really like Riot's timing when it comes to the updates. It's like every two weeks, and a big update every two months. At this rate, there will be 40 agents in about 4 years. I think that's a good pace for updates and changes. Also, new maps are added every couple of months as well, but I don't expect that to keep on going in the future. Maybe there would be rotating maps like in Rainbow. One big critique is that the skins are really expensive. Why is one Vandal skin like $17 and a knife that costs $35? Luckily, the battle pass only costs $10. In my opinion, the Battle Pass skins are alright, they're not that creative. They also changed the maps a lot too. They've been trying to get that 50% win rate in attack and defense, and they're pretty close to it, except for Split, which even after a lot of changes, is still one of my least favorite maps, especially when it comes to attacking. Xbox is balanced, but a lot of people still hate it because there's just so many angles. I like it though because it requires you to be more strategic. Other than the main game mode, I like that they added deathmatch, which is a great way to practice. Spike rush is fine if you want to play a quick game. They also added escalation and snowball fight, which are fun but I wouldn't recommend for improving in the main game mode. Finally, let's talk about ranked and the community. Ranked is really competitive. A lot of people get toxic when you are bot fragging, and a lot of people smurf especially in their lower ranks. Riot is trying its hardest to get rid of these however by making it easier to climb to your desired skill level. A lot of people are still stuck on quote unquote elo hell, which I think many players just blame for them just not doing good. Riot even added the exact number of points you gain or lose. You need 100 to rank up. I think Riot is trying its hardest to be transparent and making rank a fun experience overall. I wish they found a good way to ban toxic players more. They already gotten rid of the AFK players because you get banned from playing comp when you leave the game too often. Although this is annoying when you actually have to go somewhere, it does make the experience a whole lot better because Valorant is one of those games that you would never win in a 4v5. They tried to further out the rank queue bracket to get rid of their smurfs, but I don't think that will ever get rid of them. People will always keep making accounts. A lot of players use to auto lock and I'm happy that most players prioritize controller and sentinel agents. People used to always play duelist and it was so annoying. The rank distribution is mostly silver and gold, but since there are so many people smurfing, iron and bronze being the most common ranks. Riot is trying to fix this issue however, and now they've gotten between bronze and silver as the most common ranks. They still have more work to do, but it's getting there. Valorant Esports are also doing really well. I like the Champions Tour format, but it's a bit confusing. I think it's going to be a big part of Valorant in the future. As far as the future Valorant is like, I don't think it's going to die anytime soon. Kinda like CSGO or League of Legends, which this game is related to both of them. I don't see why they would slow down updates. The game is actually still growing and it's been a year. 